Hello everyone. I am now in Kathmandu, in Tamil, and this is absolutely brilliant. It's a pop-up exhibition right in the center of the city. And this is the artist. You've got the QR codes that will also work on video. So I welcome everybody to click on this code. And here is Fawaz, the artist. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I would like to ask Fawaz to explain a little bit of the choice of images and his favorite ones as well. Uh, uh, thank you very much, Nelson. I'm very honored that you're videotaping me. And so this is uh, my idea of exhibition. I don't really like to do exhibition in the galleries because it's very stuffy and normal people are very restricted. And please enjoy, you see like these two lovely women are enjoying this exhibition, show, show the pictures. And so I want everybody to see my art. And this is the best way you can reach the normal people. You know, I don't want that posh people who goes to the galleries just to be there. This is for everyone, you know, so it's a street art. And I want to talk about some of the art and there is no favorite because, um, you know, to uh, parents, all kids are the same. But of course, even the parents have sometimes such <laughs> predilection towards one. I think so. So, for example, this one, it's, it was one of my earliest work when I was just beginning the printmaking like 10, 12 years ago. So, we see, usually, we look at the city and we try to see the best or the worst, you know. We, especially in Dhaka or Kathmandu, we want to show either the poverty or we want to show the these beautiful architectures, you know. But the thing is, the city is usually in transition and it's always breaking down and it's always getting built. And so I want to show that time, the transitional time when this is happening. That's also part of the city, which we don't want to see. It's actually 95% of any city, yes. isn't it? So the artist's job, if the artist has any responsibility, is to show people what they don't usually see. No, it's to show something unique, but that's always around them, but they just don't see. It happens in the literature, in the movie, like the same stories we know again and again, but sometimes see it in a different way. This one is done for the Rohingyas. This won an international award. It's called Long Walk Home. So a million Rohingyas were uh, ethnically cleansed and kicked out of Burma by the uh, military junta. And a million Rohingyas are refugees in Bangladesh. So these people, they lost all their homes and they're walking, but they don't know where their home is anymore. So they're still walking and they're trying to find a place Hence the long walk home, you know. This one is my another favorite of mine. This is uh, the night train. So the night train, just when you look at it, there is a very melancholic thing about it. The night train, everyone's sleeping. It is going to its destination. This one uh, is called the angry cow. It's not a bull, it's a cow. You can see it's a cow, but he's very angry. And I feel like this sometimes, you know, when I see what they're doing into the world, you know, how the human rights of certain group of peoples are not respected. And this Geneva Convention is only for certain group of people, but it doesn't apply to other people. And the human rights applies to some people and not to other people. I feel very angry. You know, and then, but at the same time, I'm just a cow. I'm just an artist from Bangladesh. What can I possibly do? So I feel that anger. But there's two things you can do. You can self-hate, self-emulate, or you can express it through your art. So I want to show sometimes when you feel like, you know, this, very angry, you should think about this. I want to show some other arts over here. There's one I really like. So this was, this is a Shad Gumbuj Mosque in, in, uh, in Bangladesh. It's in Pulna. And I played with the light and color. And so the architectural etching is kind of a disappearing uh, method, but I, I try to keep it alive and the Bangladeshi architectural etching. And this one, similar to the first one, is called Dhaka in Transition. 
dark in transition. Dark in transition. So I, I again I'm trying to show the blend of the modern and the old and then you know on the process of this. So it's no longer there. So just like the art itself, it's a very transient. The city is a very transient art. Because in the city as well, it is always changing. The city is always changing. And the last one I want to show. This one is called the Old Man River. It depicts human's journey. Uh, really towards unknown. You know, we set off have all of us that yes, we are going somewhere, but sometimes we don't actually know where we are going, and it's okay. There's a journey that we try to see. You know, the moon is over there. The guys riding at night. And so these are some of the things I like. Thank you, Nelson, so much for coming over. And for us, I just want to say that I did print yeah. making at university. Yeah. You're much better than me. Oh. Yes. <laughs> and these are absolutely no. top level prints. So yeah, I invite everybody to click on the QR codes, which will show very clearly in this video. And what an amazing exhibition right in the center of Kathmandu in Thamal. And you can see also the website, fawasrobprint.com.